Welcome back to Namely 90s Minute. Every week we look back at a culturally relevant show, movie, or piece of pop culture that probably helps stoke the algorithm. This week, in honor of Good Burger 2 coming to Paramount+, Plus, we're looking back at the first time it was adapted to film in Good Burger. Good Burger is a 1997 American teen comedy based on the comedy sketch of the same name from Nickelodeon's All That. The film stars Russ Tyler from D2 The Mighty Ducks, Double G from Nickelodeon's Game Shakers, Tessio from The Godfather, alleged foot fetishist slash creator of Nickelodeon's second generation of beloved live action shows, Nisi from Oisha, Lindsay from Freaks and Geeks, Myron from Jingle All The Way, Lonnie McKenzie from Baywatch, Josh Server and Lori Beth Dinberg from All That, Shaq, George Clinton, and Gun from Angel. The story starts on the first day of summer vacation for Dexter, who is basically Keenan from Keenan and Kel, and he crashes his mom's car he was joyriding in into his school teacher's car, played by Shazam. With no car insurance or driver's license, he finds himself in danger of going to jail before striking a deal to pay for the damages without involving the police. He gets a summer job at Mondo Burger before getting fired for talking back to the owner and manager, so he gets a job at the small local joint Good Burger, where he meets Ed, who is a more dim-witted version of Kel from Keenan and Kel, who is responsible for rollerblading in Keenan's way when he swerved and crashed the car. When Mondo Burger finally opens, Good Burger is in danger of going out of business, until Good Burger starts selling Kel's secret sauce, which draws in a lot of customers and makes Keenan and Kel rich because Keenan is leeching off of Kel. Mondo Burger sends Dave Navarro's wife over to seduce Kel for the sauce recipe because why not send a Playboy model to seduce an underage teenager for their sauce? Meanwhile, Keenan falls in love with a co-worker named Monique, who eventually finds out he's been exploiting Kel for his money. Keenan tries to apologize to Kel, but first they discover a stray dog didn't want to eat a Mondo Burger, so they go investigate the place. In the back of Mondo Burger, they find a machine injecting illegal food chemicals into the burger to make them huge, but they get caught and committed before they can tell the public. Mondo Burger taints Ed's sauce at Good Burger with shark poison, but Keenan and Kel escape the psychiatric hospital by dancing with George Clinton and stop people just in time from eating the tainted sauce. They then go back to Mondo Burger with the police and during some shenanigans dump all the growth chemicals into the Mondo Burger machine and they start coming out super huge and then exploding, leading to the arrest of the manager. Keenan and Kel go back to Good Burger Heroes and work there for the rest of the summer. And that's Good Burger in a namely 90s minute. More or less. Join us again next Tuesday for another Namely 90s Minute. Remember, you can always hear these a day early in full episodes of Namely 90s on all major podcasting platforms. And most of the small ones, too. Please subscribe and do all the other YouTube things. Bell ringing, share like a scribe, so that sort of stuff. And we'll catch you next time. <clears throat>